hello everyone so today I'm gonna improve this uh, animal IK system I worked for this uh, uh, deer character so as you can see here the character is already adapting to the ground um, uh, underneath and also I'm go part in particular today I'm gonna work on the blend space so as you can see here previously this character had uh, a simple 1d blend space and today i'm going to change it to uh, a 2d blend space with root motion enabled animation so therefore the character have more realistic turnings uh, especially and yeah so yeah those are the parts i'm going to work on today and yeah the character procedurally adapts to the ground which was already there so yeah Let's see how to do those things. And this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. So, right. So if you remember this project, I was working on this uh, procedural animation system for the deer character and as i have done there you can see the legs are adapting to the surface of the uh, so of the the ground like this so it, we have this dynamic ik and other bone modification system to support for the different angles but uh, the rotation this turning and everything looks very bad here because that time I only wanted to focus on this only on this uh, IK part the procedural part adapting to the ground part so today just like I did for the wolf character I'm gonna re-implement rework on the moment blend space to make this character rotate and turn better uh, than what we have before so right first uh, let's go to the go here and we have running walking yeah uh, these uh, road motion uh, animations oh so right we have this road motion enabled animations so but we have uh, we for now we were we were using only this simple uh, one day blend space so let's create a 2d blend space for this character you see in the stack psp Stack locomotion. Okay. And horizontal side forward. Just like before, this should change from minus two to plus two with four sections oh like this and forward uh, i don't have walk back animation so therefore zero to plus two with only two divisions right and We need to enable root motion for all these RM uh, animations. So select all the animations with RM and go to bulk edit via property matrix. And here set animus first frame and save. Enable root motion also. Or alternatively, you can go to each different animation and here set enable root motion and anim first frame. Okay, um, now 
well idle should be here as usual and walk rm should be here and then run rm should be there and walk turn left let's put it here walk turn right let's put it here we don't have a running turn do we right uh, so this should be enough for now okay now let's go to this animation blueprint of the stack and instead of this stack movement blend space let's use stack locomotion okay so i'll promote this forward so variable to uh, what was the name i'm using in the wolf side speed and forward speed yeah let's rename it oh side speed should be here and this one forward speed okay now we need to calculate the side speed and the forward speed just like in the wolf like this but uh, did we implement get desired movement interface in this tag character no we haven't so yeah let's implement that ppi character movement interface which we have defined in the bp folder which uh, i defined this uh, in the last time when i work on the wolf character so i'm going to use it same interface here so here we have this get desired moment function which returns the desired moment direction so if you are not clear of anything i'm saying maybe you should first uh, uh, you can refer to the right now after implementing that compile so we will get the interface get desired moment and just like in this third person character oh wait Ah, right here uh, we can get the forward vector and right vector and yeah do the same thing but uh, but in the stack character we haven't implemented running so therefore we don't need this part we only need this part copy that and return and compile now go to the stack animation blueprint and here yeah we already have a reference to the character so we could use a pawn known as well but since we already have the character let's use it mm -hmm. to update this forward speed and side speed values I'll copy this and paste here let's collapse this so it's easier I 
dead speed. So he always need his uh, reference to the character. An execution line. Right now, let's see. Oh, sorry, we have to use this instead of this uh, one day blend space. Oh, wait. We should. Uh, here enable road motion from everything option where is it right okay now the way it works looks more believable and also on top of that the IK system is already working So how to make the turn in more faster? Well, uh, we can do something like let's print the side value uh, speed side value so we can get a better idea So here let's see yeah it's better now Okay, 
so i think yeah we can stop this episode here so the IK is working fine let's walk over there as well there are some smaller changes in the ground okay so yeah let's stop this episode here so as always uh, the project files will be available through the patreon page for download and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club link would be in the description below and thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye